Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about sensor networks. So before getting into the sensor networks, let's see what is a sensor. Okay. So it's an electronic uh, measuring device, which measures uh, several parameters of natural things. So it can be an air quality, it can be a temperature, it can be heat, it can be uh, pressure, or it can be any kind of thing. So a sensor can be uh, considered as a measuring device, which can measure the natural elements around us. Okay. So these sensors are of various types. Okay. I want to measure the air quality present in this particular atmosphere. I can do that using a particular sensor. Suppose I want to measure some heat or a temperature present in a particular area or from a body. Okay. I can also do that using a sensor. Not only that, I can detect the motion of particular animals, okay, uh, human beings or whatnot, anything. Also, a sensor can be considered as a, uh, a device or a physical quantity where it can measure a several uh, uh, physical properties or the natural elements. Okay. So, these particular sensor technologies are integrated into the Internet of Things with respect to various networks. Okay. So, a wireless sensor networks can be framed into such a way that it comprises of distributed devices. So, several devices are integrated with the sensors. And these devices are distributed in several parts of the areas, industries, or uh, uh, particular places where these applications are very much required. Okay. So a wireless sensor network comprises of distributed devices, which are integrated with the sensors. And these particular devices, which are integrated with the sensors, are majorly used to monitor the environmental as well as physical conditions. Not only monitor, we can also operate or we can also uh, like alter. Okay. So, or we can also make a particular motor or some lighting system or home automation system. Okay. Switch on and off or alter the operations like uh, logic high as well as logic low. Okay. So, actually how the sensor networks works. So this particular wireless sensor network consists of a uh, number of end nodes. Okay. And these end nodes are connected to a router and all these routers are connected to a coordinator. Okay. So first let me tell you clearly the first thing what we require in order to measure this particular physical quantity or the natural elements is the sensors. These sensors are connected to an um, controller kind of uh, device setup, okay? So, which is used to communicate with the router. So, suppose we are using 10 sensors. All these 10 sensors are con connected to 10 different nodes from 10 different places or from uh, same places which are uh, reading this different uh, quantities, okay? So, these 10 sensors are connected to 10 different types of nodes and each node can also be again considered as a router. Okay. So this particular node, whatever the sensors are linked, these particular nodes, okay, uh, uh, communicates with the router and the router, what does it do is all the data from the router goes to the coordinator. Coordinator is nothing but an main device where all the data data from the routers will be collected by it. Okay. So routers are responsible for routing the data packets from end nodes to the coordinator. Okay. Now this coordinator collects the data from all the nodes as I've already said. See. So these coordinators also acts as a gateway that connects the wireless sensor networks to the internet. So Sensors are connected to several nodes or uh, devices and these nodes are connected to an routers and the routers are connected to the coordinators. Okay. So these coordinators are mainly responsible for taking this particular wireless sensor data or the wireless sensor network uh, uh, to the internet. Okay. Onto the internet. Okay. 
some you uh, know let us see some of the wireless sensor network used in the iot systems suppose let me take an example of weather monitoring system okay so in a weather monitoring system we use wireless sensor networks with the help of several sensors and nodes we collect the parameters like temperature humidity and uh, other data which are very much aggregated as well as analyzed okay so coming to some more parameters like indoor air quality monitoring okay With respect to the various gases what type of gases are integrated into this particular air okay how much purity is there everything can be monitored with respect to this sensors with respect to indoor air quality see now let me take an another example soil moisture monitoring system okay so this particular soil moisture monitoring system uses wireless sensor networks to monitor how much moisture is left in the soil, particular soil of different locations if at all uh, the soil moisture is very very less so we can also make the motor pumps to get on okay like controlling device not only monitoring as i've already said we can also control or alter the devices connected to the internet so if the moisture is uh, content is less in the soil we can also make the motors to on and pump the water out okay now coming to some more advanced ones surveillance systems so surveillance systems are the most advanced systems nowadays every uh, cities and the every lanes and colonies will be having this surveillance system almost all the buildings are having with the this particular system so several surveillance system cameras are connected to several nodes and these nodes are connected to the coordinates and through with the help of internet we are able to gather the data in the form of video audio as well as recordings okay suppose if at all there is some person moving in front of the camera okay we can also have a, a feature like motion detection data okay so motion detection sensor will be detecting this particular motion of a person who is moving in front of it and it that data can also be sent over the um, internet okay so in a sensor networks first thing sensors plays a major role in measuring the quantities second thing uh, nodes which are connected to the sensors helps in gathering the information or taking the data from the sensors once the nodes takes the sensor the all the data from the sensor nodes will be taken to the router okay and this router helps the data to move to the coordinator and coordinator is the main thing where all the data will be switched on to an uh, cloud using an internet okay so the power of wireless sensor networks lies in their ability to deploy large number of low cost and low sensing nodes for continuous monitoring of environmental and physical condition so not only designing iot devices they also should be in such a way that we can able to deploy large number that too in low cost and also the devices need to uh, consume very very less power okay such that we can run it for uh, multiple places and for multiple applications so it is best recommended for the iot devices to get manufactured within low cost and the devices or the hardware used also need to consume very very less for power okay so the main intention of the sensor network is to measure the several uh, physical quantities in the surroundings or to uh, measure the natural elements